quiet. There's a baby sleeping. I know, I was a bit surprised too. I got up to have a munch in the middle of the night and there was this baby lying there in the middle of the trough. It's a long story. See, I'm from Nazareth. It's a small town, a long, long way from here. One day I was saddled up by a young couple for a long journey. It's okay for donkeys, we can walk miles. But I felt really sorry for the lady. She wasn't very old, a teenager I would think, and she was very, very pregnant. Not the sort of journey you want to make when you're pregnant. She looked so tired. I was so glad she had me. I walked as carefully as I could. I didn't want to jostle her or the baby too much. Sometimes she sort of lay sideways on me and when we stopped at night she would just rest her head on my tummy. It was sort of comforting. It was a long, long journey. It seemed to take days and days. The lady and the man talked about the baby a lot. What would he be like? How would they cope? I don't know how they knew it was a boy. They talked a lot about him being a special baby. I guess all babies are special to their mum and dad. But I think there was something different about this one. Anyway, when we got to Bethlehem, there was nowhere to stay. There were people everywhere and everywhere was full up. We ended up in a barn. Well, it's okay for me. That's what I'm used to. But the lady looked really tired. The man got lots of hay and made a soft bed for them. And I snuggled down at the other end of the barn. And then in the middle of the night, as I said, I got up for a midnight snack and there he was in my feeding trough. And you know what? He's definitely no ordinary baby. We've had so many visitors. Everyone seems to want to see him. We even had some very wise men from the East. They brought him presents. So you are very welcome to come in and see for yourself. This is one special baby. I've heard that he's going to save the world. And I know that he is special for a fact because I feel it in my heart.